unspeakable starts chasing me. I never make it back through the portal in time. It's been more than a year since I foiled the ancient's plans to grow an alien embryo in my brain, and still the dark world haunts me. Rita's murder is just the latest reminder that no place is safe from the darkness. Not even my hometown. Open. Your mother let me in, Dawson. Had some more questions to ask you about the murder. Didn't we go all over this before? Yes, but that was last week and you left out a lot. Witnesses said you and Rita left the banquet together. What happened? I don't remember being alone with Rita that night. I don't remember anything. I must have gotten drunk. Is that so? People said they heard you two arguing outside the school building. Am I a suspect, Chef? We have to look at everybody, Dawson. Especially everyone who was close to Rita. Rita and I weren't that close, Sheriff. We all know you and Rita were an item back in high school. That was 15 years ago. I moved away and only came back recently. Yes, we checked. You headed up an advertising agency in Frisco. But you've been living with your mother for the past year. Rita and I didn't really see each other much since I moved back home. Just how much contact did you have with her? Look, Sheriff, I'm going to be late for my doctor appointment. I know all about your sessions with Dr. Sims, but the mayor wants you to make time to meet with the feds later. Feds? You mean the FBI? That's right. I don't much like the idea of them trampling over my turf, but the mayor wants me to bring him in. What's Mayor Fleming's interest in Rita's murder? Yeah, he wants this case solved quickly with the election coming up and all. Seems he has some friends at the Bureau, and believe me, they won't go easy on you. I wish I had something to tell you, Sheriff. I really do. Well, if you remember anything, see me down at the station. But your memory had better return by today, or things won't look good for you. This closet has been locked ever since I can remember. The key was lost a long time ago. I used to love movies about swashbucklers. They made me feel like I could be a hero. It's too valuable. I'd better leave it here. The reception stinks in here. Nothing here fits me anymore. The stereo stopped working when I was a senior. I never bothered to get a fit. Smells good in here. Mom must be cooking something special. Morning, Mom. So it takes the sheriff to wake you up, Mike? I think I'll eat over at Hank's for breakfast. You should know better than to eat the greasy food at that diner. I thought you were going to start eating healthier. You're not in high school anymore, you know. I'm going out, Mom. See you later. That's right. Run off again while I'm talking to you. You're worse now than when you were a teenager. But I've got things to do today, Mom. Like what? You don't do a damn thing around here anymore. 
I don't feel like talking anymore, Mom. I'll see you later. Fine. You say that every morning. Please don't be late for supper. By the way, Mom, thanks for taking care of me this past year. I love you, Mike. I just want you to get well again. This picture has been on the refrigerator for years. I'm not about to take it down now. When I was a kid, my family used to gather here to watch television. So this is where I left my camera. I'll bet there's some film inside. I'm giving hot lunches to the school children. In other parts of the country, law enforcement officials are still bewildered about the murder of local librarian Rita Scanlon last week after the high school reunion. When asked about potential suspects, Sheriff Willard Butler replied, Michael, you and your kind are in grave danger once again. The ancients have returned. I am sending something to assist you. You must act quickly. Warn that this is the second local death this year, and residents should always be alert. On the national news scene... in the door, but it I'm not tired. Mom likes the stained glass and Hey, that's Jack. He likes to think he's tough with that motorcycle and all, but he's about the only new friend I've made since I returned home. Well, are you just gonna stand there gaping at me, Mikey boy, or are you gonna take a load off your feet? What brings you here, Jack? My motorcycle, dumb cough. You need to have your ears checked. Actually, I stopped by because I saw the sheriff's patrol car drive off. I was worried about my favorite recovering mental case. Don't joke about my nervous breakdown, Jack. I thought you were my friend. Relax, Michael boy, relax. Geez, you must be under a lot of stress. They say your sense of humor is the first thing to go. The sheriff thinks I murdered Rita. Yeah, I know. I overheard Deputy Brown talking in the diner. You're the number one suspect. You overheard the deputy? That's great. Everyone must know by now. It's a small town, people talk. But that could work to our advantage. I have a plan. What should I do? Not to worry, Mikey boy. I've been giving your situation some thought, and I think there are some things Sheriff Butler overlooked. got an appointment with Dr. Sims soon. Let's get together afterwards. You're seeing that quack? Don't waste your time with that head shrinker. Listen to your old pal Jack instead. Okay, we'll meet here after you're done with Dr. Sigmund Fraud. Thanks, Jack. Thanks for believing me. Now, don't get all mushy on me. I'll meet you right here after your doctor's appointment. Until then, hang loose. are in full bloom.
my old 35mm camera. This ticket will admit me to the traveling carnival in the park. Even though I grew up in this town, I still find that a map helps me get to places quickly. I've been finding reasons to avoid going to Dr. Sim's office during the pandemic. Hank's Diner isn't the swinging place it used to be, but Hank still does enough business to keep the place going. How's it going, Hank? Eh, my back's been acting up, but otherwise not too bad. How are you, Mike? I'm still bummed out about what happened last week. Rita was a real pretty girl. I remember you two sipping your sodas holding hands under the table when you were kids. Have you heard any more about the investigation? Deputy Brown stopped by to get some coffee and donuts on his way to Rita's place. He was saying that the FBI might be called in. Doc Larson was telling us some pretty grisly stuff. I heard about the FBI from the sheriff. Say, Mike, weren't you with Rita the night she was killed? Remember about that night, Hank? It's these headaches. Mike, you and I go way back. As a friend, I'm telling you that you better start remembering quick. Deputy Brown was saying that the sheriff doesn't want to waste any time on this case. I'm seeing Dr. Sims in a short while. Maybe he can jog my memory. Don't waste your money on head shrinkers, Mike. Whenever I forget something, I just retrace my steps. What did Doc Larson have to say? He wouldn't go into any details because he wants to keep certain things from the public. I haven't seen Doc Larson so excited since that other murder. What other murder? Old man Ramirez. He died in a fire a few weeks back and left his wife a very rich how Rita died so close to his house. Rita was murdered in a public park. How could they keep any details secret? Doc Larson and her body moved to the morgue before dawn. Deputy Brown said the sheriff wasn't too happy about that. Didn't give him much of a chance to examine the crime scene first. I need some fresh air. I'll just do that, Hank. See you later. Take care, Mike.
There's Jimmy Gardner and Melissa Fleming. Jimmy's the type of loser I'd expect to see in a place like this. But it's surprising to find the mayor's wife here. I was never much of a pool player. The mayor campaigned on how he was going to rid our streets of the homeless, but I guess they just got driven into sheds like this. Another evil that's been hidden but still exists. It's hard to believe that someone could live in this dilapidated old shed. I shouldn't take someone else's supper. Besides, I don't have much of an... There's nothing here I can use. Civic Center. We used to joke about the Sheriff's Office, Courthouse, and Morgue all being next door to each other. First they tie them, then they try them, then they fry them. Andy and Barney would be right at home here, but this ain't Mayberry, and unless I can get the Sheriff off my back, there ain't going to be a happy sitcom ending. Maybe I can get the sheriff out of his office. Please deposit 20 cents. Of course, I should dial 911. Oh, that's great. The 911 emergency line is busy.